man, you want to start with the young ones. John, the most beloved of the disciples, was just a young kid when Jesus took him in. And he grew in to be a great apostle of the Lord. Amen? Amen. So uh, I want to make some announcements real quickly this morning. I have my announcement sheet, and I don't know what I did with it now. I, the, the second time I've lost it. And... Uh, I have no clue what I did. But I, I, I can pretty much I can remember all the things I need to talk about. Uh, life groups tonight. There will be life groups at 6 o'clock tonight. Please come. I mean, we look forward to, to uh, a wonderful life group. And so we're dealing with uh, the Word of God and the importance of the Word of God. And the next uh, three sessions are going to be an extension of that. We're playing special video of Josh McDowell. Evidences that prove that the Bible is the Word of God. It's so powerful, and you don't want to miss it. We need to know what we believe, and we need to know why we believe it. Yeah. It's one thing to say, I believe it, but when they ask you why, you need to be able to give an answer for the hope that lies within you. And I thank God we don't have a blind faith. We have a, a faith that's based upon so many evidences. So many facts, it's not even funny. And only God can put this together. So you don't want to miss that. Amen? Amen. We have a missionary coming next week. Kenny Rutherford is going to be with us. Oh, uh, that's uh, Darlene's uh, nephew uh, from, from Nepal. And uh, Kenny's going to be with us. And we just came in town for two weeks and uh, wanted to swing by and be with us. I said, sure. He brought his, his daughter for the first time to ever be in the States. She's four years old. So we get to meet her. Her wife still has to be able, his wife hasn't been able to get the visa yet to come. But uh, we're looking forward to Kenny being here. He's a real genuine missionary. This guy is where the rubber meets the road. A restored network. His, um, uh, Denise is in charge of all this, but she's in the nursery. So I'm doing the announcement. We, by uh, July 28th, into this month, must come up with 225 of these uh, silly scent colored pencils. They got them at Walmart for 97 cents, okay? Now, we can get them tax-free if you want to donate money towards that. We can go down there and use a card and get it tax-free, or use raising your hand, Pat. They don't have to be the silly scent ones. They just have to be the regular ones. They don't have to be the silly. Thank they you. We, they just want the regular ones. Yes. And we might be able to get a package of these on, on Amazon. We're going to check. Wherever we get the cheapest, we'd rather you uh, donate the money and we go and get a, a, get a bundle of these things together. If it's going to be cheaper, if not, go to Walmart and grab some. And if you want to just do it, go to Walmart and grab some and that'll be great. But so we want to have that by the 28th. Amen. That's a little bit that we do to help with restore uh, the thing. We have a nursing home coming up July 16th, and it was a wonderful nursing home. We had about 10 people show up to help us with it, and we leave here at 1.30 on July. We're over there at 2 o'clock in Edwardsville. We had a wonderful service, and they were just touched by, by it in so many ways. We'd love for you to be a part of it, so if you can be with that, let me know. Okay, we have some that are already said they will be going, but if you've not been to a nursing home uh, to minister, we would love to take you. It would be a chance to be a blessing. Amen. I'm going to try to get some of the younger ones to go with us if they can. Um, then we have uh, a funeral coming up. Jerry lost his wife um, go back to that. on us. Uh, what was it? Uh, Friday? Friday night. Um, no, yeah, Friday night we went over, my wife and I. And uh, we, as soon as we left, about three hours later, she passed away. We knew that the hour was coming. So Jerry's going through a real difficult time, and we need to hold him in our prayers. Uh, appreciate the ladies that took food yesterday to him. He just ran and raved about it. And I uh, asked him, nice he says, well, right now I'm so full, I think I'm just going to go sleep. And I said, well, I think you need to sleep. He's been up for several days with Juanita, and uh, so she passed away. We're sad about that. So uh, keep them in prayer. We're not sure about the funeral arrangements. They're thinking about Saturday. We're not sure about that. We also have another funeral this week, too. Just found out about that this morning. That's not involving the church, other than we might use the facility here uh, for feeding. We're not sure of the details, but uh, uh, Rhonda's mother, Rhonda, the funeral I did uh, two or three weeks ago for, uh, for Rhonda Gale, uh, her mother passed away. So 
I have that funeral uh, uh, here in the next, this week too. So that's uh, six funerals in seven weeks. I'm trying to set records around here. Let's pray that there's no more funerals, okay? Uh, it's just been crazy anyways. God's in charge. And uh, appreciate the guys being out there for the, for the uh, breakfast yesterday. Brother Roy missed it. We had the funeral and everything, the, the death, and threw us couple, our clock completely off. And uh, so I felt so bad that I missed it, but I appreciate the guys that did show up at Frank's. And we'll be looking forward to next month in our get-together and get that back on track. Amen? Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. I think I've covered all the bases. We have the youth camp coming up too. I don't know if they got that on there. But that's coming up at the end of this month, in the early next month. And we have a slide on that. And we'll be, we've already begun to... to uh, uh, register for the kids that are going to be going to that. The, yes? the deadline uh, for camp registration is July 17th. July. So they need to know that. Also, we have a fundraiser coming up in two weeks yeah. for a trivia night. Um, we would love to have everybody come out for that and help support the youth being able to go to camp. Okay, wonderful. You got that? How many like trivia? <laughs> the only fun. trivia I like is Bible trivia. I don't like any other. <laughs> I'm not good at any of that. Don't ask me too many questions about Hollywood. Don't ask me too many things about movies because I'm pretty weak in all those areas. But uh, I'm pretty good when it comes to the Bible. Amen. God is good. Today is Communion Sunday. It's going to be a time of worship around the table. And I want to focus on that in my message later on. But we want this to be a time of worship and prayer. A time of just blessing each other and being in the house of the Lord. Amen. God is good. And uh, I, love, I love the first Sunday of the week. I, I absolutely love it. It's a time to get together and uh, to pray one for another. Uh, and we have some that are facing tragic uh, things that they have to face. And uh, uh, we want to be in prayer for them. I know Vicki just got a, a report this week. <coughs> Might be cancer. And that's uh, Linda's sister, Vicki. And uh, ministered with her today, this week. We're just going to believe, believe in God, Vicki. It's going to be a good report. We're not even accepting the fact that it's cancer. We're believing that the rest of the tests that come out are going to prove that it's not. But uh, you'll be in our prayers. <coughs> Vicki, but uh, you'll get to know her. That's Linda's sister. And staying with her mom now. Came up to stay with her. And I believe it's for a time like this. And all things work together in God's plan. All things work together. And, uh, I thank the Lord for that confidence we can have in Him. And I trust my message even today will be of some blessing to you and comfort. But uh, let's just uh, wonder if we could stand before we have our worship service. And uh, the ushers can come and we take offering. But before they take the offering, let's just pray uh, in a special way uh, for these various needs. I want to ask some of the women to go and lay hands on Vicki. Vicki, this is what we do here. Some of the ladies come and lay hands on you because the Bible says. <laughs> She'll lay hands on the sick and they will recover. But we're still going to pray for you. So if some of the ladies can gather around Vicky right now, appreciate that. And uh, just lay hands on her and pray for God's touch. We're going to offer it and everything one time. And let's just put our focus on Him this morning. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for your promises that are yea and amen in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for the confidence we have in you. Faith. Lord, our faith that's unshakable, a faith in a God that cannot be changed, a God that cannot move, a God that is a God that we can depend on. Lord, you're our God, our refuge, our source of strength, Lord, our comforter, our guide, our keeper, Lord. You're our healer, our deliverer of everything that we need. Lord, we bring to you these, these that need comforted today. I pray for Jerry, comfort him and his family. Use this as Lord that which would draw those that don't know you to know the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, help our church to minister in love to them. And I pray you strengthen Jerry through all of this. Be with the Vicky Lord right now. Even as we lay hands on her God. I pray that there be healing in her body. There would be no cancer. God, no cancer. We're believing for a good report. God, may your name be praised and glorified in our midst, God. This body of believers today, you see the hurts, you see all of our hangups, you see all of the habits and problems that we're facing every day, God. I pray that you minister grace, minister grace upon each one of us. Bless our time together, Lord, and bless even our giving. Let our giving be unto you, and as we give, may we give with joyful hearts and give with generous hearts. And give believing, Lord, for the blessing and prosperity of God upon our life. Lord, in all of this, we will give you the praise and the glory. We ask you. 
and in your name, and in your name, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen and amen.
joys in him. That he makes light the heavy burden. He brings joy into our souls, does he not? He puts a smile on our face, gives us joy for the morning. He gives us joy in a spirit of dancing, a spirit of happiness. Because our faith and our trust is root, root solid in him. Amen? Amen. So put a smile on your face this morning. Let him just lift you up in the presence of the Lord this morning. He is here. He wants to touch us in an amazing way. Yes. Aren't you thankful for him? It's our heavenly Father. He's worthy. He's so worthy to be Not we honor you and rejoice in you for all that you are and all that you've done. We just take a hold of your spirit in us today. Holy Spirit, make yourself known. Make yourself known, God, we rejoice. Yeah. <laughs> 
ke mak tiapa. Kuala lala jalan nak tiapa. Allah siapa di dalam kuwa majama. Allah Allah kau nama siapa hanya nasion. Opa di sini ada fakta fakta. Opa Opa kalau dengan Allah dapat si. Aisyah nak kalau dengan anak ku. Apa ayat siapa? Aisyah Opa. I have desired to the children. Desired you with all of my heart, all of my love. I desired you to walk with you, to talk with you, to be with you in every moment of your life, the good and the bad. It's my desire to be with you. I only have good things planned for your life. I only have a perfect will that I want to perform in your life. I only have that which will bring glory. An honor to me to be fulfilled in your life. I have desired you. I have desired you. I cried out from the heavens with my love to draw you nigh to me. Oh, you have not responded to my love. You have resisted that which I desire for you. Oh, my children, <coughs> do not push me away. Draw me, draw me near to you. I will not force myself. No, I desire you. You will open your hearts to me if you look and trust in me with all of your heart. Oh, I will come to you. I will restore you. I will strengthen you. I will bless you. I will give you good things. I will make your life prosperous and blessed. And you will sense my peace and my love and my joy. Oh, but I will not do this if you will not desire me. And so my plea to you this morning is desire, desire me, Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
make that your prayer right now. With no music. I want us just to sing that prayer to the Lord. That was the voice of the Lord this morning. Crying from heaven. For you. How he loves us. He loves your voice. He loves every hair on your head. Never. Every aspect of your life, he loves you. Every flaw that you think is a flaw, he, he put it there. Because he made you different than everyone in this building. Every weakness, every strength, everything that we have comes from the Lord. And he made you just the way he wants you to be so that he can perfect you and make you like him. And that's this process on this earth, but it will never happen unless you draw nearer to Him. He desires you. And that's what the Lord said this morning. He desires you. Let's say that. Let's make that our prayer. Draw me nearer. Draw me
wonderful and that you'll enjoy it so very much this morning. I've enjoyed preparing it. Got so blessed of the Lord. Uh, and, uh, most of these thoughts came to me early this morning. And uh, I'm just going to share this. It shouldn't be too long. Of course, I'm no reason afraid to say that. So I get all anointed by God. I get so happy that I forget what time it is. And so you just got to forgive God. Hallelujah. Uh, the Lord, let's read it together. And I know that's kind of hard. Let's put it up on the screen there so that, uh, that everyone can read the same version with me. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table. Hold it. Let's repeat that again. Thou preparest a table for me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now I want to take you back to Exodus 12, where that table was first prepared for the children of Israel in such a miraculous, wonderful way, a table for deliverance. And the Bible says this, starting with verse 1 of chapter 12, And the Lord spake unto Moses, and Aaron in the land of Egypt, saying, This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. Everyone say, the beginning of months. Hallelujah. And it shall be the first month of the year to you. Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for a house. And if the house will be too little for the lamb, it's never, never, never too big for the lamb. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord for that. But if it be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make their count of the lamb. The lamb, your lamb shall be without blemish, a male of the first year. Ye shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. And ye shall keep it up until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it on the even. And they shall take the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper doorposts of the house wherein they shall eat. And they shall eat the flesh in that night, roast with fire, unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden, or at all with water, but roast, roast it with fire, his head and his legs, and with the pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins, gird in your shoes, on your feet, and your staff, and your hand. And ye shall eat it in haste, it is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and will smite all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord, and the blood shall be unto you for a token upon the houses where ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you. When I smite the land of Egypt, and this day shall be unto you for a memorial, and you will keep it uh, as a feast to the Lord. Throughout your generations, ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance for ever. Hallelujah. And then in Matthew chapter 26. See, the Bible ties together. Ties together. We see that table back there in the beginning. David mentions it a thousand years later. And uh, then we see uh, Jesus talking about that table, that same table there in Matthew chapter 26. And let's just start uh, with um, uh, verse 17. 
And the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the what? Passover. Passover. Which read about the Passover? Exodus what? Twelve. Okay, same table. And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say unto him, The master saith, My time is at hand, I will keep the Passover at thy house with thy, my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now, when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve, and, he, and as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you, that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceeding sorrowful, and began every one of them to say unto him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that did with his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him, but woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It had been good for that man if he had not been born. And then drop down to verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and break it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Lord, bless your reading of your word. God, let it just speak to our hearts in a wonderful way. And bless us, Lord, as we come around this table, the table of the Lord. And God, may our souls be refreshed and renewed and touched as we draw near to you. And we'll thank you for it in Jesus' name. And everyone say, Amen. So you see this, this same table, even this table is a representation of the table that was in the wilderness that God prepared for the children of Israel. And, the, and it's the table that the Lord can prepare for anyone and everyone that is willing to want him in their life. And, uh, uh, just the simple provisions that were on this table, uh, 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 the, the, the fruit of the vine and uh, the, the, the meat of the lamb and, and uh, these simple things. It was just a, a common meal. It was a common meal, but God wanted this meal to be everything but common. Hallelujah. And he never ever wanted this to just become a simple ceremony where we would come together and nonchalantly partake of this table. When he set this table up in the wilderness and brought the children out in great deliverance, it was going to be an emblem of God's desire for us, of God's desire to be in our lives the way he wants to be. And uh, it's beautiful, and we need to understand uh, what this table represents and all that it means to you and to me so that we don't miss it when we come to communion. I've seen people come to the communion Crack a joke. I had one person crack a joke to me right here. Up when I was, I, I was thinking, oh. And I think Wayne, when that happened, Wayne got very, very offended. And asked me, so did you like, I said, no, I was so upset with that. So upset. To come with frivolity, to come st with stupidity to the table of the Lord and to make a crack a joke about something like, this sacred is this, 